Hello all, thank you for the invitation. It's great to be here with you, even virtually, to meet each other, to have this opportunity to present to you our collective and self-organized space, The Eight, as well as interesting moments of the vibrant artistic scene of Athens in which we have actively participated. I am Kostas Zimoulis, visual artist. I am Vasilis Noulas, visual artist and theatre director. Together we also work as an artistic duo uh, with the name Vascos, that it comes from our names Vasilis and Kostas. Vascos deals with hybridity, exploring playfully the notion of national, sexual and artistic identity. It uses various media, performance, photography, drawing, video, ceramics and publications. We deal with the duality and the queer and we have presented two solo exhibitions and currently working on our third one. Important part of our practice is performance making. We are key members of the Nova Melancholia Theatre Collective. I work as a director and Costas as a set and costume designer. With Nova Melancholia, we have presented many works in Greece and abroad in Europe. Recently, we presented the theatre performance Hot Maritime Baths in the Athens and Epidaurus Festival. Currently, our avant-garde performance Imagine a Heroic Landscape based on the letters from the prison written in 1918 by the communist revolutionary Rosa Luxemburg, which was presented here at the age, is going now to take part in the Sant'Arcangelo festival in Italy during next July. Together with uh, Gigi Aguiropoulou, artist and theoretician, we are part of the AID collective and we have been running the AID a critical institute for arts and politics in the center of Athens since March 2019. The Eight Collective is based in Athens and it emerges and evolves from previous collective forms and experiments as a continuation and a transformation of them. During the last years, we have co-initiated and participated in many collective artistic experiments. We are going now to briefly present you some crucial moments of this itinerary. Um, what we are going to present to you now, briefly, uh, has to do with uh, the art scene of Athens, especially the underground scene, during the years of crisis, meaning the last decade. Um, we start from the Ambrose Theatre occupation, happened in 2011 by the Mavili Collective, in which we were members. Mavin Collective was a group of, of uh, seven artists of the same generation that came together in the years of crisis in order to claim a better cultural policy and um, better working conditions for the artists. Mavin Collective occupied the historical building of Ambrose Theatre in Athens, deserted and left empty for years by the Greek state. The aim of the occupation was to reactivate and reoccupy this space temporarily with our own means and to propose an alternative model of collective management. A Bros Theatre was reconstituted as a public space for exchange, research, debate, meeting and rethinking. The Ambrose occupation united the artistic scene of Athens in the difficult years of the economic crisis. Artists, theoreticians, practitioners and the public met and tried out models beyond the limits of their practice and the market structural demands for the artistic product. This reactivation was not a proposition of a better model of production and management, but was a proposition of rethinking, responding and remaking. In the sight of the crisis situation, we refuse to wait for better days. We refuse to accept the current crisis as terminal and we refuse to sit back. Uh, the experiment of the Ambrose occupation was a very successful one 
and um, uh, it, it was unique in uh, his kind. Uh, it was the first time that a clearly artistic occupation uh, happened in the recent years and um, uh, united the whole scene uh, of Athens, artists from different fields and um, also uh, from different uh, generations and with different backgrounds uh, came all together uh, with this opportunity. The, um, the Ambrose Theatre occupation uh, was and still is um, an event of great influence and inspiration uh, to, uh, to the artists of our generation and of the next one. After the Ambrose Theatre occupancy, during the years 2014 and uh, 2015, we did a series of activist actions. For example, we printed and posted around the city a series of posters that were making fun of the nationalism, uh, conservatism and the decay of the Greek National Theatre. We were critical of the nationalist ideology, a blend of ancient Greek glory, Byzantine and uh, Orthodox Christianity, and uh, neo-Greek folk tradition that was dominating the first theatre scene of the country during the years of the financial crisis. We did this action anonymously, as we were truly risking to be prosecuted. We have to mention here that all these actions were at the edge of legality, but we had the support from the artistic community and from an important part of the press. We will present you now another example of an activist intervention. This time, our weapon was the collective laugh. On 20th of February 2014, the Greek Minister of Culture delivered the opening speech of the European Union Conference Financing Creativity in Athens. This conference was seeking to address models of cultural policy in the coming decades. Yet, not a single artist was invited as a speaker, nor was the conference promoted publicly. Given this situation, Maville Collective called for artists from different fields of practice to attend the conference. Having been excluded from a dialogue about cultural policies, the artists present publicly expressed their feelings regarding the proposed role of culture and laughed. The minister was completely destabilized. The action was successful. We posted the guerrilla video immediately in the YouTube and it became viral in the following hours. Θεωρώ ότι οι αναλογίες με την Ελλάδα υπάρχουν και σε άλλες χώρες του Ευρωπαϊκού Λόγου. Που ταρανίζεται κι αυτός από τέτοιες προβλήματα. Στην Ελλάδα, εν προκειμένου, ο πολιτισμός Δεν είναι μόνο η εθνική μας ταυτότητα και η εθνική μας περιφάνεια. <Κι> στην Ελλάδα, στην Ελλάδα, ελάτε πάνω να μας ταθείτε. Ελάτε πάνω να μας ταθείτε. Ελάτε πάνω να μας ταθείτε. Είναι εύκολος ο συνδικαλισμός από κάτω. Και είναι εύκολος ο συνδικαλισμός. Και είναι εύκολος ο συνδικαλισμός. Και η οπλαγωγία όταν εκθέτει την χώρα και την εικόνα της σε μια τέτοια εκδήλωση. Είναι εύκολο ο συνδικαλισμός και ο πλαγωγία. Ελάτε πάνω. Ορίστε έναν εκπρόσωπο και ελάτε πάνω. Εσείς που μηδενίζετε και εξαλείφετε τα πάντα. Ελάτε πάνω. Να έχετε το θάρρος του δημοσίου λόγου. Εγώ εκτίθεμαι ενωπιών σας. Με αυτά που λέω και με αυτά που υφίσταμε. Σε επίπεδο από δοκιμασιών από σας. Ελάτε πάνω λοιπόν να λάβετε τον λόγο και να πάρουμε μέρος σε μια συζήτηση. Να συζητήσουμε για θέματα που αφορούν τη χώρα, την κοινωνία μας. Να διαφωνήσουμε. Να διασταυρώσουμε επικινήματα. Όχι φωνές και αποδοκιμασίες παλαιοσυνδικαλιστικής νοοτροπίας. Είναι πολιτική πράξη. Είναι πολιτική πράξη αυτό που κάνω εγώ. Όχι αυτό που κάνετε εσείς, η οπλαγωγία και είναι ντροπή, είναι ντροπή αυτό που κάνετε. 
That was a part of the video uh, that you can find it uh, online on YouTube under the name Fiasco at Megaro. Uh, well, the, the Green Park Athens occupancy was our next step. It happened in 2015 in a different political moment. The refugee crisis was apparent everywhere in Athens, the economy was still ruined and the leftist government was in power. In Green Park, we tried to explore through a wide and non-defined Polish collective the potential of collective joy in the political struggles of the past years. The Green Park building used to be a cafe in the second biggest park of Athens and has been deserted and abandoned for many years before our occupation. During the period of two years, from 2015 to 2017, in Green Park Athens, many political and artistic events took place. Many artists of the local scene, as well as many international artists and theoreticians, had the opportunity to present their work and ideas and to be in dialogue with each other and with a big variety of public. We can read part of our manifesto that inaugurated the 10-day festival of the opening and show you pictures of some moments of Green Park Athens occupancy. Almost four years after the occupation of the Ambrose Theatre in 2011, we are activating with our own means a space deserted and left empty for years by the Greek state and propose a 10-day a -day program of cultural and political intervention in the here and now of Athens. This activation refuses a particular temporal horizon and understands itself outside of the logic of ownership. The occupation is not defined by a particular ideology or interest, but rather comes about as a result of the encounters born out of the experiments and struggles of the last few years. Thus, we look to rebuild modes of collectivity and solidarity and reclaim friendship for its political importance. We propose friendship as a model for organizational formations and autonomous instituting that exceeds neoliberal calls to order. The last important moment before the initiative of the aid is the DIY performance biennial that we organized under the title No Future in 2016, playfully subverting the term biennial into a self-organized practice the event tested self-instituted forms of culture and politics. Under the title No Future, this guerrilla biennial brought together forms of artistic, political and theoretical practice and discourse, questioning the potential of a collective refusal to a referred futurity. The performance biennial began in the occupied cultural space of Green Park, Athens, and then departed via boat from Piraeus to the island of Sithira, seeking to problematize the role of performance in the neoliberal narrative, collectively engaged in ongoing disruptions between the institution and the self-instituted, between buildings and parks, between the center and the periphery, between urban and rural. The event brought together both conventional and non-conventional investigations, including performances, talks, lecture performances, workshops, discussions, interventions, city walks, community works, actions and screenings. This guerrilla performance biennial operated through a practice of self-curating as assembling, resisting hierarchies and categorizations, the program consisted of time zones of, of conflictual fields and practices that were co-curated with the participants. All activities of the event were open and free of charge to the public.
Through all these collective experiments and forms that we participated in, we were always interested and created the conditions in open and hybrid forms which included and brought together the public, artists, theorists, activists and various collectives from different fields, as well as a diverse inhabitants of each location and random encounters and uh, proposed that as a form of being and doing together under a different situation this time. So in this continuous presence in the Athenian scene, we are connected with many other collectives and actions of the city. The Eight is an autonomous and self-organized collective space on a small pedestrian street in the center of Athens, opposite the National Archaeological Museum and the Techn Polytechnic University, in a non-gentrified part of the city and next to the neighborhood of Exarchia. Eight is formed out of our need to pass from these larger, unsustainable and more ephemeral actions to smaller scale formation that allows collective study bringing together the artistic, the social and the political. In less than two years, Eight has organized discussions, workshops, presented solo and group exhibitions, theatre performances, special screenings, festivals and has run an international artist residency. In our initial discussion around the cultural management in Greece, criticizing the processes that the state follows, we had as a special guest here in Athens the Minister of Culture and different participants uh, of the cultural sector and art journalists. Um, at the Eight, we have hosted interesting events and workshops of other collectives, such as the anti-fascist culture workshops, the series of screenings organized by the Making Now Time Collective, or the Eclectic Tech Festival, an annual gathering of feminists. Our residency program, City at Eight, invites international artists, theorists and re researchers from different fields of practice. We strongly encourage work that is research-based and engages with unconventional structures and forms such as socially politically engaged practices, alternative ecologies and urban interventions. The residency is one of the ways of making the aid sustainable and at the same time gives us the opportunity to create an international network. During the first lockdown, spring 2019, the aid paused its planned activities and afterwards it uh, functioned in a limited way. The aid was uh, part of uh, the campaign 2020 Solidarity by the Berlin-based Between Bridges project, which was initiated by artist Wolfgang Tillmans. Through this campaign, the project aimed at helping uh, cultural venues and independent spaces that are existentially threatened by the current crisis. Currently, uh, the AID organizes a series of research labs under the title Urban Ecologies. The labs will be in three editions. They will run through June 2021. The first one has already taken place online, but we are hoping to be able to host here at the AID the next, two, uh, the next two of them. These labs act as pre-events and lead to June 2021, when the AID will organize the next edition of HKVS Berlin New Alphabet School under the title Instituting, with guest lecturers, the Ruan Grupa Collective from Indonesia, who is the artistic director of Documenta 15, and the theoretician Stefano Harning and Fred Moten. Uh, so, this was briefly uh, what we are doing here at the AID and also our uh, past uh, activities and actions and through the last and uh, recent years. Looking forward to, to our next and future projects. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you all.